Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to another Lost Reaction. This is season 6, episode 14. I don't know why I have to look every time. Uh, it's the candidate. So hopefully we're going to get some big answers in this one. In the last couple of episodes we've had the beginnings of a convergence of the timelines the main timeline to the imaginary timeline I don't know I don't know um, certainly a few people have been awakened John's now in hospital after Desmond ran him over being operated on by Jack who could very well cure his original paralysis we don't know I mean is Jack that good that he can do what no other doctor has been able to do or thought they were able to do. I don't think John's ever gone through a, an operation. I, I think he's just been told that it's not possible. So could it be that it was possible all this time? Son has also been taken to the same hospital with the gunshot wound and she recognised Locke when she was coming in. But of course, in this timeline, she's never met him apart from at the airport, possibly. Or on the airplane. Um, what else did we have? Yes, right. Uh, Fake Lock has made a break for getting over to the Hydra Island, now that he has all the people that he needs. Sawyer has decided otherwise, though, and has gone against his plans and taken Hugo... Frank, Claire, Kate, um, Jack, etc. To, to the Hydra separately in order to, to what? To honour his deal that he made with Widmore? Either way, John's not happy. Fake Lock, sorry. Fake Lock's not happy about that. Jack has decided that leaving the island is a bad idea. So he jumps ship and is being rescued by mm, Fake Lock, of course. Who probably wants some answers as to what's going on. Saeed was sent to kill Desmond in the well, but we didn't see him do it, so I don't think he did do it. I think there's still enough of Saeed left in there to... Uh, to ascertain that that was a bad idea. But I'm still none the wiser on any of the big points. I still don't know what's coming. I'm going to have to take this one episode at a time now because I'm out of theories. So, Jack is the last recruit, as in he's the last of the recruits to, to, to be left on the island, the main island. So is he the candidate? I thought at first it was going to be Sun. Then I thought maybe Hugo. Then I went back to Sun again. I think I might have uh, even gone for Kate at one point. <sighs> now it looks like it's going to be Jack. and Jack, it just seems so damn obvious that it would be Jack. That I don't like the idea. I want it to be Hugo or... I want it to be Sun, really. I think Sun he makes the best new Jacob. Unless they can go back in time and get Rose. Because Rose is the nearest to living the life that Jacob wanted his people to live. You know, they, they rejected Dharma. They lived for three years pretty much on their own devices. Yeah, and Rose and Bernard are the proof that humans aren't all corruptible. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I think Rose and Bernard are long dead by now. Because the last time we saw them was 1977. Um, and we don't know if they travelled forward in time when all the others travelled forward in time at the end of the explosion bit. Because we haven't seen them, so... Yeah, where's Rose and Bernard? I'm I, 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 
given all the time travel bits and, and the rules and the consistencies, I would imagine that when Jack and Juliet and all that lot travelled forward in time to 2007, that Rose and Bernard would also have done so. Did they die? I, I can't, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember them dying. Uh, too too much too much is going on i'm getting lost <laughs> okay then um the candidate one two three go mr Locke. while i was operating i got a look at the initial injury to your spine the one that put you in a wheelchair right and i was hoping you could tell me how that happened because i think you're a candidate oh what a candidate for yeah, spinal for surgery a new procedure surgery we're developing you may even walk again if you'll give me a shot mr Locke, i think that that i could fix you so how did it happen in this timeline oh thank you hmm? uh -uh. no Ain't no way i'm getting back in those cages well i've got the gun so you not any more doughboy <laughs> got the gun i have a list of names ford you're on it. As are Reyes and the Quads. Kate Austin? Not on it. Not. It doesn't <clears throat> matter to me whether she lives or dies. Don't listen to him. Oh, no, he's going to listen. You may not believe it, but I'm doing this for your own good. You're right. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> he and I met about a week ago. We were on the same flight back from Australia. Oceanic gay Because, of course, he was. You didn't realize that. I sat across the aisle from you. <laughs> you were uh, flirting with my wife Rose when I was in the bathroom. <laughs> it's pretty weird, huh? Yes. Convergence. Something is keeping them together. There was another man in the same accident with him. Wait, that was three years ago. You just remember that? Of course I do, Jack. Yeah. Anthony Cooper. Anthony <laughs> of course. Cooper. It had to be. Good luck, Doc. In this reality, it was a... a crash or an accident that affected both of them. Because your friends got themselves captured. And now, we're going to have to rescue them. Oh, that's what it's all about. Is it rescue? Widmore has them in the cage. Really? They're not my people. <laughs> no. And I'm not leaving the island. You have well, to. Jack, I'm hoping you still change your mind about that. If you but don't, he's going to kill you. Do want to leave. <clears throat> and since they just ran away from me on my own boat, not your I'm boat. Need your help convincing them that they can trust me. I could kill you, Jack, right here. Yes. Right now. And I could kill every single one of your friends. And there's not a thing that you could do to stop me. Nope. But instead of killing you, I saved your life, and now I want to save them, too. So will you help me? Which does beggar the question, is he really, really that evil? Because he's right, he could kill all of them at a moment's notice. There's no reason why he couldn't. Somebody killed the power. Get a team to that generator now! Too late! What are you trying to shoot smoke for, you idiots? I'm gonna take you to the plane, but I'm not getting on it. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm. I'm not meant to go. He's not. No. Oh, it's okay. Saeed's so with us. He's the one who turned off the generators. Great. More the merrier. We need to go. Locks waiting. They don't want to go with Locke, do they? Um, Dr. Shepard, just go. Look, all I want to do is help him. I know. John told me about the operation. He doesn't want it. Why doesn't he want it? Please, Dr. Shepard, just leave this. Yeah, alone. leave it alone, Jack. He's made his decision. He saved John's life. Why can't that be enough? <laughs> this is Jack. Because it's not. <laughs> Mr. Obsessive. Wheelchair. I 
bet that, yeah, I bet he's a shell. There's nothing of him really. Mm. I bet it was John's fault in in that timeline. It's rigged. Is it C4? Is that his plan all along? To get them all on the plane and then blow him up? I mean, the man in black's plan. Because he knows that Charles has rigged it. If Charles had really wanted to keep me from actually getting on board, he wouldn't have moved his little fences. Well, wait, now he wants us to leave the island? Yes. No, Hugo, he wants to get us all in the same place at the same time. Yeah. Nice confined space we have no hope of getting out of. And then he wants to kill us. Kill us with what? Four bricks of C4. <sighs> I found them in one of the overhead compartments wired to the electrical system of the plane. If we would have turned it on... Boom. Yep. Okay, so it was Charles that wanted to blow him up, not him. Mr. Lock, are you awake? Yeah, okay then. So I think I think it was John's fault, and that's why he's he doesn't want the operation because he thinks the paralysis is his punishment. They're never going to get their hands on that, surely. They're all at the Hydra. Really? Was this all part of his plan? Why not? Oh, what is going on? <laughs> C4 primed. He knew what he was going to do. Where'd that come from? So how'd you get rid of a bomb on a submarine that's diving? Don't pull those wires out. We're okay. Nothing's going to happen. If I don't pull these no. wires, no. Yeah. Blow us Jack no, remembers not. the dynamite. Lock can't kill us. There's a well on the main island, half mile south from the camp we just left. Desmond's inside it. Locke wants him dead, which means you're going to need him. Do you understand me? Why are you telling me this? Whoa! So now Jack's got to change things so that Saeed lives. I didn't expect Saeed to go. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, she's completely trapped. Go. No. Save yourself. I'm going to get you out of here. Don't tell me we're going to lose Saeed and Son in the same episode. I'm not having that. Oh, powerful stuff. I love you, son. I love you. <laughs> and this beautiful piece of music is forever going to be my least favourite part of Lost because it's always over the top of something really bad happening. Something sad and tragic. And thinks again, Dr. Shepard. You still can't let it go, can you? I had had my my private 
pilot's license for a week, and uh, I begged my father to be my first official passenger. Um, he was was his fault. But I looked him right in the eye, and I told him he could trust me. And we barely got off the ground. I, I still don't re don't remember what I did wrong. But it was my fault. It was my fault. This man who I love more than anything will never walk or talk. Or... That's his punishment. In his eyes. You know, but... I can't help you, John. I wish you believed me. Has that triggered something? No. Okay. We really are in the end game now, aren't we? And not everyone's going to get out of this alive. <laughs> yeah, you can be angry at the world, Jack. Five seconds. Wait, wait, where are you going? Finish what I started. Kill the rest of them. Flipping hell. Flipping hell. Okay, so. Oh, Jin and Son are dead. Saeed is dead. That's. Um, I suppose we're in the end game now. Not everyone's going to get out of this alive. Um, I don't even know who we've got left, but is Frank dead as well? I, I, I wasn't sure about that one, but it, we didn't see him back on the on the island. But Jack was right. Jack was right. Sawyer should never have interfered with that bomb. Nothing would have happened. Because the man, Jack was right, the man in black can't kill them. He has to rely on something else. Same reason he couldn't kill Jacob, he had to get Ben to do it. He's a corrupter. Uh, mind you, he didn't stop him uh, killing the guards and all that. That was a very dramatic episode and I'm very upset at the deaths that we've had. And I'd like to say, who else are we going to lose, but... Who have we got left? I keep drawing my mind back to when he appeared to John Locke as Christian. Down in the caverns, telling him where to go to move the island. Now, when we, when, when we flashed to the surface a couple of episodes after that, we could quite clearly clear, clear, there, we could quite plainly see the statue. So it was before 1867, probably just a little bit before. I've always thought that John turned the wheel around about the same time that Jacob and the man in black had their conversation on the beach, the one we saw at the beginning of the incident. But how could the man in black be posing as Christian in 1867 a good ooh, 50 years before the person he's impersonating has even been born. That made little sense. I'd like that resolved. All the other appearances of Christian, yeah, fine, that's, that's okay. But the 1860s Christian, I can't figure that one out. Unless, of course, he's travelling back in time. Or he's already from the future, knows what's going to happen, so he already knows who Christian will be eventually, or something. I don't know. Oh, There's still too many blanks in this. <laughs> Desmond is alive. Saeed confirmed that Desmond is alive right at the end. So that's good. Uh, he is definitely going to come in useful, but we don't know how. Uh, what else have we got? Well, we've got no way of getting off the island now, apart from the aeroplane. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, right at the end, we got that line, didn't we? With Jack saying to John, I wish you had believed me. 
which was exactly what John wrote in his uh, last message to Jack in the normal timeline. I wish you had believed me. And I think John recognised the line, because as he's wheeling himself away, he sort of looks back curiously, as if it triggered something. We can only hope. If that's the if that's the idea is to trigger these people awake into realising the re reality, then I suppose it's done its purpose. <clears throat> I don't know. On the island, um, first of all, we had the fake bomb. Sorry, uh, it's not fake. First of all, we had the uh, the bomb planted supposedly by Charles Widmore on the 316 plane to stop them all leaving. Uh, but Charles has already said that he can't kill the people on the list. Or he has no desire to kill the people on the list. And in killing them all in, the, in a bomb, he would have done that, so... Was it really him that planted the bomb? It gets put into Jack's backpack and then they're double crossed into thinking that Flock wants to leave by the submarine but that was never his intention. His intention was to get them into the submarine so he could blow them up. He really does not want to see anyone left alive on the island. And now uh, the man in black has grabbed a gun and has said that he's going to finish what he started. Which could mean anything, but in grabbing the gun I think the implication is clear. And he's with Claire, and Claire seems to be following him, but I think she's a bit wary now. She doesn't want to see her friends die. So I don't know what's going to happen in the next episode. It seems like there's a a game being played out. Well, we know that there's a game being played out. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <sighs> Sun and Jin's death is just. <sighs> I didn't. Th I didn't think. I didn't think that Sun and Jin would die before the end. I kind of thought that Sawyer might. Uh, that Saeed might. I kind of thought that Frank might, but I didn't. I didn't expect it to be Sun and Jin. Um, I would have. I would have put money on Claire dying before Sun and Jin. Um, so who else is going to die before the finale? Claire, I think Claire is going to die. Not Hugo, not Sawyer. Actually, yeah, yeah, Sawyer. Um, in some... In some sacrificial way, he'll... he'll sacri uh, I think he will sacrifice his life to save Kate. So Sawyer, Claire, not Kate, not Jack, not Hugo. Who else have we got left? Ben... Probably dead before the end. Miles. No. No, he survives. Um, have we actually got anybody else left on the island at this point? I mean, Charles Widmore. Mm, yeah, I think he probably will die. And there's nobody in the normal timeline left, I think. Zoe. Zoe, I, I don't really care whether she lives or dies, to be quite honest. I don't like her. And I don't like any of the others from Charles's boarding party. Although I like Charles, and I think Charles is... Yeah. I think Charles is good... Working on behalf of Jacob. Uh, no, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
let's explore this after the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.